For today's video, I wanted to show you a product that I have been absolutely loving recently from the Dollar Tree, and that is this faux leather fabric you can find in the Crafters Square section. As of now, the colors I've seen are navy, chestnut, white, and black, and I'm going to show you projects using all of those colors. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. For the first project, if you saw my last Dollar Tree video, you'll know that I made this faux leather wrapped vase inspired by something I saw at Target. So basically I took the faux leather fabric from the Dollar Tree in the chestnut color and I cut it down to the appropriate size and hot glued the fabric onto this glass jar. And I really like how that turned out. I think it's a really fast and effective way to get that look for less. But this time I wanted to take it a couple steps further and make a checker print vase using the black and white faux leather fabric from the Dollar Tree. Checker print is everywhere right now from rugs to artwork to vases. It is a pattern I am seeing a ton of, so I wanted to try to DIY something. To start, I'm going to take this scrap piece of wood and use it as my guide before making my uniform cuts. On the white fabric, I made markings going from left to right, and on the black fabric, I made one marking at the top just like that going from left to right, and every subsequent marking I made to go up and down meeting that line. Just to point out, I'm making all of those markings on the inside of the fabric, and I am using a pencil just so then that way you don't see any pencil markings on the outside of your finished product. With all of those markings completed, now I'm just going to take my fabric scissors and cut each white strip off in order to weave it through the black fabric. And for the black fabric, I cut the strips just up to that first line that I made going across because I wanted the top piece of my vase to be nice and uniform and just all black. And now it's just time to weave those white strips of fabric into the black strips of fabric with each row alternating in order to kind of get that checker print effect. In order for it to keep its shape, I did a combination of super glue gel and hot glue, especially on the edges and the corners. With the pattern completed, I just removed the excess from one side and began to wrap it around the glass jar using some hot glue. With the jar completely covered, I just trimmed off the excess and I think for $2.50, it's a really nice way to try a trend without breaking the bank. So for the next project, I've mentioned this before, but my husband and I are both nurses and we have two small kids and we need tissues in our house readily available, like at all times. But I never love the original packaging. So we're gonna be taking the Dollar Tree faux leather white fabric and we're going to make a cover for a tissue box. It sounds really simple and it is really simple. We just have to kind of work through a couple things. So with the bad side facing out, I'm just gonna make a couple quick measurements. So basically I'm taking the box and I'm just rotating it on itself once and then I'm making that marking. And then I'm going to do that exact same thing again so then that way I have all four sides measured out but I'm only going to need to connect them at two places. And that is really just to save a couple steps. Instead of having four sides that I'm connecting, I'm just connecting two, um, and that's because I'm going to be using my sewing machine, and I think it just works better when you use longer strips of fabric. 
and taking my fabric scissors, I'm just going to cut based on the markings that I previously made. And this pretty much is just the sides of our tissue box cover. And then now all we need to make is the top, which is super simple. All I did was I turned the tissue box upside down and top facing down. I traced around it, giving myself a little bit of an excess. I would say I gave myself about a fourth of an inch because I need that sort of leeway so that way it fits nice and snug, but it's not super like flimsy either. And before I connect these three pieces of fabric to each other, I needed to make an opening in the top so that way I can obviously pull tissues out of it. So I decided to just flip it again, bad side facing out. I folded it in half and then folded it in half again so I knew where the center was. And then with my fabric scissors, I'm making a cross shape and just allowing for there to be a slit in the top. And now it's just time to connect all of our sides to each other as well as the top. You could hand sew this, but I'm going to use a sewing machine. So I connected one of the sides together. So basically I had one long strip of fabric and then I connected the top to each side and then I completed it, finaling it out with that final side completed together. And now I just have to flip it right side out, fill it with some tissues. And I think for a dollar and 25 cents, it gets the job done. Next up, I really love the look of faux leather frames and leather artwork and things like that, but it's oftentimes really expensive. So I think that this is a really easy way to kind of get that look for less. So rather than make a frame or the artwork, we're actually just going to make a mat. So I have this 11 by 14 mat fit for a five by seven picture frame, and I'm basically just going to lay the fabric out, again, bad side facing up, make my markings, and then I'm going to trim off the excess. For the inside of the faux leather mat, I just took the side of my scissors to get it started with one opening and then I used the scissors normally to cut the remainder of that rectangle out so that way the picture could show through. And now I found this book recently at the Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna be taking this first page and I'll be using it as my artwork and I'm going to fill a frame that I had on hand and I think it's a really affordable way to kind of get that look for less for just a few dollars. Next up, I feel like you guys know it's coming and that is to make a faux leather lumbar pillow. And what's so nice about the fabric that they give you from the Dollar Tree is it's already cut to that exact size. So I decided this would be a really easy straightforward project. I had all intentions of just making this like a five minute pillow because you can't really wash this fabric anyway. I didn't really care if I was gonna have to use hot glue because it you know, would be what it was. However, after I started gluing it, I was thinking, okay, yeah, it's fine. I used the glue and other projects and it seemed to be fine but as soon as I did it for this specific project it would not take at all as soon as I turned it inside out that it was just peeling right off of the fabric so if you want to make this project you're going to either need to probably hand sew it or I again use my sewing machine um, I did not find an adhesive not even super glue would hold it together so that's really saying something so if you have any ideas please leave me a comment down below so I can share it with the rest of the group so unfortunately, my brilliant idea of just gluing the pieces together did not work out. So I did decide to sew it. And I start out by always just doing a couple, like two inches of hand sewing just to keep my pieces together, but allow for me to stick an insert through it. So then I put the pieces together, good size facing each other, so bad sides out and I sew three of the four sides together, allowing me to be able to stick an insert through it. So after I do those three sides, not including the side that I already started, I flip it inside out, fill it with my pillow, and then hand sew the remainder of the pillow. And it is really that easy if you know how to sew. I know not everybody in this group knows how to sew, and that's okay. Um, I just am here to give you guys different ideas and suggestions. The next thing I wanted to make is a small catch-all tray. So I'm going to be using this gold eight x 10 picture frame from the Dollar Tree. And obviously you can use 
any combination that you would like. If you're not crazy about this like brown cognac color, you could use black and like a black picture frame or a silver picture frame or whatever is your preference. So I decided again to use the cognac color and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the inside of the picture frame in this fabric. So to start, I just hot glued the glass to the cardboard so it was one solid piece before I kind of reupholster it using hot glue. With the bad side of the fabric facing up, I'm going to place the inside of the picture frame down and I am going to remove the excess that I know I will not be using from the fabric. To get the cleanest finish whenever I'm reupholstering anything or adding contact paper to anything, what I personally like to do is pretty much just to remove like a square right at the corner. So I'm cutting 90 degree angle so everything kind of folds really nice and evenly onto each other. And then again, using hot glue, I'm going to hot glue those pieces down to the back of this picture frame insert. And then I just placed it in the picture frame. And just to keep it nice and secure, I added hot glue all around the back side to make sure that it stayed nice and put. And now it's just time to add the hardware. The reason I used a gold picture frame was because I knew I had hardware at home that would match it perfectly. So I'm just gonna super glue gel these to either side of this frame. And for only $2.50, I think it's a nice way to kind of get a high-end look on a budget. Another tray or basket option I've shared with you guys previously is to make this slouchy tray basket inspired by something I saw on Pottery Barn. So basically what you wanna do is take the fabric that's given to you, so I didn't cut anything off, and you're just going to kind of hot glue it onto itself. For this project, I had absolutely no problems with everything sticking really well together, but again, I didn't glue the outside really, I just glued the inside. So maybe that's the trick with this specific fabric. And then taking my fabric scissors, I'm just gonna trim the excess off and then I made 45 degree cuts into each corner about an inch and a half of the way in. And then I added a small dab of hot glue and then the thumbtacks to kind of keep those fabric pieces together and that really finishes off this project. All I had to do now was snip off the inside so nothing was sharp. I think it's a really easy way to kind of get that look for less and a really good gift idea. Another idea I shared with you guys previously is to wrap a book using this fabric, just like we did in grade school, except now we can use really aesthetic fabrics. Maybe you have a book that you love to read, but you don't love the cover, so a really easy thing you could do, and you can use any fabric. You can use linen, you can use faux leather, suede, whatever you want, and wrap it around for just a more high-end appearance, especially if it's a book that seems to be out all the time and you want it to look nice. Just wrap it in some fabric that you love, and if you want to amp it up a little bit more. I did decide to wrap mine with some suede ribbon and this is the finished result and I think it looks so much more high end. And lastly, I know it's early, so if you are still really just loving summer and are not ready for fall projects, just go ahead and click out of this video. But I have a feeling that as fall approaches, this fabric will be gone specifically. So I wanted to share this project now while the product is still available for you guys to get your hands on. So I wanted to share a super simple project and we are going to be making a faux leather pumpkin. So all you'll wanna do is lay out your fabric and take something circular. It doesn't have to be this wood round. This is just what I had on hand. You could use a plate or a charger from the Dollar Tree and trace around and cut out the fabric. With your circle now in place, it's just time to make small holes about a fourth of an inch inward. And I made a hole about every fourth of an inch as well. So I made several small holes. First I made markings and then I took a nail and a hammer that I had on hand and hammered those all the way around so that way I had small openings for the suede ribbon that I was going to be placing through it. After the holes are made all the way around, I took some of that suede ribbon and I weaved it in and out and in and out so then that way it would be able to be tied off and basically what you're making is a small pouch. With the cording wrapped all the way around, woven in and out, I did decide to fill mine with some rice just to give it a little bit of weight. And then taking each of the cords, I'm just going to tie them really tight in a knot so that way none of that rice slips out and everything stays nice and sturdy. 
and I found this pumpkin stem left over from last year and I'm just going to super glue gel and hot glue it to the top of this little faux leather pumpkin. And with that secure and in place, I just removed that excess ribbon. And I think it is a very budget-friendly way to get a faux leather pumpkin. And that wraps up the projects for today's video, eight ways to use the faux leather Dollar Tree fabric. Let me know what you would do with this fabric in the comments down below. Have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next Sunday for a thrifted styling video. Bye.